There we go. All right, Evie, Jewel, Jewel, there you are, Jewel. I think we're just about ready to go in and confront Giovanni once more. Yeah, that's right. You be alert and look around and, oh, hey, look, it's another one of the Pokeballs. All right, snag this one. <gasps> Three smart candies. Oh, I wonder which one of my Pokemon would actually like to eat a smart candy the most, uh, which is actually a pretty good question. Who would enjoy a smart candy? Let's go ahead. Uh, Jewel needs three of them? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Jewel, you have to eat three smart candies at a time? Is that it? Is that truly what's happening? Okay, there's 24. Then Jewel wants them. Oh my gosh! Jewel actually does eat three of them at a time. Jewel, you must be like abnormally clever. That is so cool. What's What does that increase again? Okay, it increases special attack. So Jewel's special attack is extremely strong. Uh, and Evie's is too. Let's actually feed everybody some smart candy because we are gearing up for our big battle. But hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu. You guys know the drill by now. We are here with our Eevee Eevee and our Pikachu Jewel. And we have just completely destroyed eating all of those small smart candies because we snack on candy before a good battle. Isn't that right? Eevee suddenly looked this way. Eevee, what's up, huh? Are you ready for this battle? Are you ready for this battle? We're gonna fight Giovanni again, but don't worry, Gobstopper is actually gonna help us with that. All right, there you go. Let's go ahead and feed you a raspberry. Oh, geez, you're so cute. I love how he's been wearing the Espeon hat lately. He just feels like wearing it. But all right, are you guys ready? Let's do this. I'm pretty sure, nope. Ah, my foot got caught on the teleporter. That would be really alarming if we worked here. Can you imagine just walking around the office and like you you try to get out of the way and you're like, oh, excuse me, because somebody like needs to just get where you're going. And the next thing you know, you like collide into them and knock them over. All right, wait a second, Evie. Is there something over here? Your tail's wagging. I see it. There's a Pokeball under the table. All right, let's go ahead and snag it. <gasps> and look at the cute little plants that they have. Oh my gosh, I totally approve. These are adorable. They are so small and cute. It makes me wonder if you could like pluck one of them and it turns out to be an oddish. But anyway, we just got another TM and I completely missed it because I was so distracted by the adorable plants. Dragon Pulse? <gasps> Pardon? Kaching! Maybe we need to get our rescue Magikarp who evolved into a Gyarados out. Kaching! Maybe you could learn this. The target is attacked with a shockwave generated by the user's gaping mouth. That sounds like Kaching, actually. I think because we plan on going to vacation at Seafoam Islands after this, we might get Kaching out of the Pokemon box and we might let her kind of go swimming with us. Uh, where are you, Kaching? There you are. But yeah, she is actually, uh, she was our rescue Magikarp that we helped to grow into a large, uh, impish, very active uh, Gyarados with a little bit of sass. And I don't think she's like properly dragon type. So I don't think she can actually learn that move, but it would be really cool if she could. But anyway, she's not with us right now. Gobstopper is with us. And we also have, just for the record, so you guys know, the Marowak who evolved from a Cubone, who saw the devastation upon her species that Team Rocket wrought so that they could sell Cubone bones on the black market, and Chickenberry, who has been watching all of this while preening her feathers and trying to become a little stronger. She doesn't really like working inside of enclosed buildings though. So let's actually swap her out with Twix as a backup because yeah, Twix is gonna come in because Twix wants to take on Team Rocket and show them what for. Uh, Gobstopper wants to show them what for too and Twix is kind of like one of the candy crew so we should have him there. Ivy Fern is one of our highest level Pokemon now so she's kind of there for backup as well. But I have a feeling that our Flareon would like to join in on this pretty soon. He's actually in the Pokeball controller right now, leveling up and collecting candy. So as much as I would like to add him into the group right now, I like to imagine he's off uh, stealing some candy from bullies so that he can try to prove himself so that he can join the candy crew. All right, let's do this. Now that we know who's who and what's what, mm -hmm. looks like this woman is going to deal with us. Uh, all right. Ah, oh, 
man, Giovanni was not up there. It's another one of the Rocket Sisters. Oh my gosh. I really thought this was gonna be the room with Giovanni. I feel like such a goose now. Look, I don't have time for this, okay, Rocket Sister? I'm really embarrassed. I seriously thought we were like on the top story and we were getting ready for the big battle and instead that's completely not the case. So I really don't have time for this because I'm, I'm actually super embarrassed. <laughs> All right, let's get these Voltorbs taken care of. I wonder if they program them in order to kind of be, mm, in order to be more aggressive. A Voltorb just, they definitely make me ask a lot of questions because I feel like it's having a robot with an AI system as a Pokemon. So where does that put it in how you should treat it? Once you imply an AI system that's functional, then I feel like you should at least try to be kind. But at the same time, they're kind of like literally manufacturing a Pokemon that they can use. There we go in order to wage like this aggressive battle against flesh and blood Pokemon. And I don't know, we're getting into some very deep waters here. No pun intended as we have the sugar rush surfing waves go by. All right, so we beat one of the, uh, sorry sis, I lost. We beat another one of the Rocket Sisters. I kind of love that there's like a whole gang, part of the gang who's a bunch of sisters. Doesn't matter. My sisters will repay the favor. Plot twist. One of the sisters is Misty because they all have red hair. And if that thought scares you, go home already. It'd be bad if Team Rocket gets complete control of Sylph and our Pokemon. Yeah, I'd agree. So why are you just sitting there? Honestly. Making a kid do all this work. Alright. Well, actually, this is a new area that we haven't been in before. Uh, Joel, Pikachu. Ah, I really was hoping we'd be able to get there. It's almost like he set a trap for us, and he's cackling about it. Look! You mistook me for a sylph worker. Oh! These researchers aren't actually sylph workers. What a relief! They must just be invading this place. Scientist Joshua. Of course, if I was going to be some sort of evil mastermind and try to take over Silco, I wouldn't just bring my grunts with me. I mean, they're grunts. Who knows what kind of chaos they could get up to. They could completely destroy everything with their irresponsible little grunty fingers. I would definitely go ahead and bring some of my own personal scientist. That explains why these guys are so mean and that explains why they treat their Pokemon so poorly. <sighs> I feel so much better. I was really worried that this was just a really bad place for Pokemon in general. And I was kind of like not able to support Sylphco or this group. But all right, come on, Gobstopper. I'm so proud of you, Gobstopper. You've handled this just wonderfully. I really think that Gobstopper has risen from being a very curious and greedy Psyduck who is busy stealing all of the candy from kids and other Pokemon into a truly noble being, even if he does still lead his crew, uh, that I think the Elite Four would even be proud to meet. Hey, it's Chip! Chips, what are you doing in there? All right, we have to figure out how to get to Chips. Let's come down here. I wonder if he got lost in all of this zip-zip teleportation system. Oh, ah. Really? Uh-oh, I found a little troublemaker. Oh, really? Really? He must have like a kid brother or something at home. Or maybe a kid himself. But if I start wondering about the financial well-being of Team Rocket's like families and what has pushed them into evil, then I'm going to really distress myself. All right, come on, Gobstopper. A few Psybeams. I'm so glad that we can wrap these battles up in less than a minute. Like literally. That's it, I knew you could do it, Gobstopper. I'm so proud of you. Let's see if we can finish this in under a minute. All right, gonna send out Golbat. We're gonna keep battling. Almost there. And come on, Gobstopper. 20 seconds. We can, we can do this. Go, go, go. All right. <laughs> and you've changed his mind. That's it, Gobstopper. Good job. There he goes. He's getting closer and closer to level 60. Lights out. I hope that doesn't mean lights out for like your family's electricity bill. Look, if you need something, oh, 
Maybe I should start recruiting the desperate grunts from Team Rocket into the candy crew. They could run a candy shop for me to sell back the candy that we've stolen from bullies. Hmm, we'll have to discuss business opportunities together later, Mr. Grunt. You won't find anything just by scurrying around. Well, I found a whole bunch of stuff, to be honest. You, it's really dangerous here. You came to save me. You can't. Oh, I can do it, I can do it. Also, you have lovely flowers, ma'am. The president is still in the boardroom on the 11th floor. I'm so worried. I hope he's safe. Now, that's a pretty brave, uh, pretty brave gesture so far. Alright, open this up. Hello? Oh, hi. You're not a rocket. You came to save us? Why, thank you. I want you to have this Pokemon for saving us. Pardon? <laughs> Whoa, buddy. Look, I appreciate the gesture. I appreciate the Lapras. I, for one, freaking love Lapras. They're one of my favorite Pokemon. Beautiful, gorgeous, elegant, mysterious. But you just throw one at me? Because I walk into your enclosed room, open the door with Team Rocket literally on my heels, and you're like, hey, thanks, have a Lapras. It's a Lapras. It's a very intelligent Pokemon. We keep it in our lab, but it will be much better off with you. Ah, oh, maybe he's actually like secretly using this opportunity to sneak the Lapras out of the lab and give it a taste of freedom. Don't worry, little one. I'll take you to Seafoam Islands with us. I think you'll be a good trainer for Lapras. It loves to swim, so take care of it, okay? All right, he's actually using the confusion to sneak Lapras out of the lab. I love you, buddy. This is awesome. Lapras's data will be added to the Pokedex. A gentle soul that can understand human speech. It can ferry people across the sea on its back. It's water and ice type, uh, and it's bigger than usual, so it must have been very uncomfortable in the lab. I love the idea that actually he wanted Lapras to be free, and so he's using the cover of how chaotic everything is to set Lapras free. Oh, wow. There you go. Yeah, I really think that he's just trying to kind of free Lapras. Let's actually look at the personality of this particular Lapras and see what it says. It's a female, level 34. She has a lonely nature and takes plenty of siestas. So I just can imagine her isolated in the tank closing her eyes and dreaming of a different place with warm sun and fresh waves where she would be able to like find friendship oh my gosh my heart jeez buddy talk about a doozy i'm so glad that i've been searching everywhere and a rare candy team rocket must be after the master ball a pokeball that's guaranteed to catch any pokemon I bet they're going to make us lots I bet they're going to make us make lots of master balls for them to use. Hey, look, if you can also have master balls in mass production, I'm not going to lie, I think that'd be extremely useful having a having a whole bunch of them. How do I get to chips? All right, let's go ahead and start searching some more. Hey you. Show team rocket little respect. I want you to get out of there so I can get whatever that Pokeball is, lady. Maybe if I, like, chase this grunt away, I can actually reach the Pokeball? We'll have to see. It's like she's guarding it. Man, I feel like we've been trapped in this building for weeks. I can't wait to figure out how to get out of here, but rummaging around has won us a Lapras, so I have to say totally worth it and we have met the rocket sisters and just look at how close gobstopper and i have grown now every time we do battle together he just is so cheered on is that an arbok yeah all right we've got this they seem particularly weak to his psychic abilities so maybe we can just change her mind lapras tell her to be nicer or like not lapras sorry gobstopper gobstopper tell her to be nicer while you're at it Maybe we can tweak their, their, like, criminal ways a little bit with the psychic abilities we've got. <laughs> it's only because I'm coming down with a cold. See, maybe she doesn't have health care. I feel like I should start recruiting the crew now. I, I didn't foresee that outcome. Trying to, like, convince Team Rocket to, like, come work for me? It wasn't exactly on my plans. Alright, let's see if I can wiggle around... Have I tried going through? I 
I think I may have tried going through that one. Oh, oh boy. Did I try going through this one? Yes, I've been through here. All right, let's come down here. I could have sworn we were going to battle Giovanni today and we totally didn't. All right, up, 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 up. And a nugget. All right, that's pretty useful. A little bit of money. Well, all right, so we need to figure out, by the way, Evie, I'm watching your tail as we pass all these plants in case they have something useful in them. We need to figure out like where we're going when it comes to teleporting into just the right place and finding our way over. Could it be, what's here? A max lure. I don't think I've actually come. Oh, ah, oh, man. I support Team Rocket more than I support Silvco. So there are traitors in Silvco's company building. Look, this is terrible. Don't you see how Team Rocket treats their Pokemon or their grunts? Like, you may think you have a good thing, but they don't have health care and their electricity is getting turned off back at home. That grunt probably has a kid at home, and that's why he was so nice to me. Uh, all right, let's go ahead. Ugh, let's just use Surf. Grimers are always so difficult to work with with Gobstopper. But not if we wash them away with the sugar rush. Good job, Gobstopper. All right, let's see. And it, a Magmar? <gasps> yes, this is so exciting. Now we'll have seen an Electro Buzz and a Magmar while we're here. This is the very first time I've seen either of them, but even that little pinch of data will be enough to get my Pokedex searching for their habitats. Wonderful. All right, we've cleared away that Magmar. Super effective. I knew you could do it, Gobstopper. Sorry, Magmar. I can't wait to research you one day. All right, Ivy Fern's now level 44. Ah, Ivy Fern wants to learn the move Growth, huh? So, let's see. Growth. Hmm, attack and special attack stats go up. Hmm. Leech Seed. Hmm. I think she's okay. She really prefers to use, like, a Leech Seed and... Leech Seed and Sleep Powder. Because she, she likes to... Not overwhelm too much with strength, but also be a little subtle. There we go. Yes, I really got you. Team Rocket said if I'd help them, they'd let me study Pokemon to my heart's content. Well, you could do that without being evil, I think. Uh, all right, maybe this will take us to where we need to go. It did! All right, guys, we found our way over to Chips. Uh-oh, uh-oh. All right, guys, we have found our way over to Chips, and we were definitely working our way up finally to Giovanni, but Archer is on our trail, and it looks like we'll have yet another opportunity to try to get a selfie with him. So, all right, if you guys could, do please leave a like to cheer us on and get ready for the final battle, probably, maybe this time. <laughs> And if you would like to join us, then be sure to subscribe for this and literally thousands more adventures. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!